This team knows how to win. Six and one in preparation. A narrow loss to Australia is the only blemish. They think they're ready. They've, they've tasted what it needs. Now, they've been unsuccessful, but every experience has allowed them to be. If there's a problem, it's can they share the ball well enough? Well, their big, big win in preparation is when they beat Spain. They shot 42% from the three-point line. In other games, they've struggled. Oh, DiColo just goes right at Powell. We know this is a 15,000 seat, brandly built arena, and it is almost sold out. Oh, oh to DiColo! Oh, oh, well, how about oh. that? Shot clock, he's gonna have to put it up. He does, that was well contested. Oh, but it's good. Oh. SGA gives it back. Brooks just goes all the way to the basket. Extra pass, Fournier. And no good, Canada now come up with the rebound as Brooke is going to slam it home for Canada. So good defense. It's again France being trying to be wide, trying yeah. to take away drive lanes. Powell, shot fake, and great job going up against an excellent defender. Through preparation, haven't had a touch at the offensive end. Yep. Definitely looking in different ways, and now Decolo has the second foul. Oh, nice great ball. pass! Ow! Oh, to a Linux! Gobert, ooh, spin move. Takes it right at the defense, but is blocked by a Linux. Gets his own rebound. I'm not sure he even left the ground. He's a man inside. A Linux left open, not smart. And finally, that three point shot goes in for Canada. So he got that two point basket off of his own put back to Colo now. Goes right at the defense, tough pass. And now Canada with a chance to run. Dort, who's just checked in. Oh, he's blocked by Batu. And Canada come up with the ball. Oh, and he takes his time. But it would have been an easy. Bucket and here you saw Lou Dort block. Look at that. How about that defense? How many times have we seen Nikola Batum do that? Wow. <laughs> There's been a few. So they have sat the colo down, which is has to sit him down. Go there. Easy basket for him. Trail by one with a minute 40 left to go in the first quarter. Kick it out, Fournier. His feet are set, that shot is dangerous. Okobo, oh, loses it, but somehow the sword holds on to it. Oh, spin move, left hand, touch off the glass. Well, let's see as Fournier and Gobert are still on the court. And nice passing by France leads to an end on a possible three-point pay. Well, their assist number tells you that they're gonna do a great job getting open for open looks. Extra pass Ooh. from Olenek leads to an and one. So France now going to their bench other than Fournier and strong, strong take on wow, there was a lot of There was a lot of contact, but it's almost like everybody's banging. So <laughs> it's like, who, the referee, who does the referee call? And what do we say when Fournier gets his feet set? Alexander Walker gets it from Olenek, finds Olenek. He's left open for a moment. Oh, nice cut by Dort, and great pass. They get into Decolo, up to Fournier. Fournier, only person who's hit a couple threes for France. That time he takes it to the basket and gets it to go right before the buzzer. Olenek. Oh, somehow draws the foul and gets the basket to go. 28 apiece here, halfway through the second. And pass to the corner, DiColo. Oh. Yeah, being in that foul situation is to be quick. Dort to Barrett. Barrett, Powell left alone underneath the basket. Nice passing by Canada. Go inside, Yabusel. Ooh, tough pass. Turnover, numbers, Canada. Shea takes it all the way, though. Well, almost.
announce the starting lineup for France back in the game to finish this quarter. I imagine Fournier, goodness me. Oh, shot rolls in and out. Decolo falling out of bounds, gets it to Fournier. Fournier now to two on one. He gets it back, easy finish for him. Bounce of belt for this, uh, the second part of the second quarter as they make the three, but they really have managed the game incredibly well. Gobert now gets it back off the mark. Two on one for Canada. Batum already blocked Dort once, but that time he goes up strong with two hands. And tip from behind. It's going to be an easy two point bucket. Another stop and an opportunity to score, possibly for them. Oh, tough, tough thing by Fournier, and now coach Jordi Fernandez, no surprise, is gonna use game of this group phase in all of the FIBA Basketball World Cup as Canada, some fancy movement there, wide open, Brooks, as he kisses the crowd, so nice play. That's two great defensive series by Canada. SGA gets to the key, and his shot rolls in, so a nice start here by Canada. Defend Fournier. We don't want to let him have 19 points again. Another possession defensively for Canada. Shea spins, finishes. Rounded him on that layup. France now just seemed kind of out of sorts. Gobert, good job taking the contact and finishing. They don't seem like they're selves offensively. It's going cold here, last few possessions offensively. Shea's blocked. That's going to be another block for Batum, but they couldn't come up with a rebound. Or the, sorry, the ball. Shea, hot hand. You know when the ball rolls in off the front of the rim. Kobo trying to shake the defense to Colo. Corner three point shot. But you said interesting adjustment. <laughs> They're being asked to play. It's the, they're being asked to make plays. Well, they left him open, and that is not a good idea. Is he knocks down a three? Just one or two things away from a, a championship. Yep. Olenek wide open in Canada. Now Brooks. Brooks. Just goes all the way to the basket. And how about that string? A record low for France, oh. if, the, if Canada can keep them to only four points. Jacolo thought about it, lets it go. And nice big time shot by the veteran Nando Jacolo. Against a great French team. Alexander Walker wide open, three point shot is good. How about that? They're gonna get the ball back. Well, third quarter, uh, fourth quarter action, sorry, here underway. Canada with a 20 point lead. Yavusel, though. Look at this small ball lineup. And, and Colet's gone to that to try and get momentum. And Fournier, he went cold. Side out of bounds action. Olinick almost loses it, finds Barrett. Barrett to Olinick. And an easy two point bucket for Canada. Nice pass. Shea with the rebound. He's gonna push the tempos. He's had a couple trips to the free throw line. Well, if you don't foul him, you don't stop him, I guess. Powell, back to Alexander Walker. He stops, he pops. They, they started very, very slow from the three-point range. You know, they're capable of those numbers. Dort. They're capable of those numbers when they wait, wait for ones they should take. Now France not even able to get a rebound. Is, 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 is there. Brooks. Nice and one as he flexes his muscle. Momentum maybe going up against a team like Lebanon, a team like Latvia. Not that I think they'll be disrespecting them. Ooh, nice high-low pass there. Go bear to the sword. You're good. You don't have to prove anything on this group. Just let it come to you. The sore. Great job there. Barrett, a little bit of frustration. He didn't sprint back on defense, which. And I love taking time with the ball. They got to get a good one. They get a good one. 
Shot clock winding down. Powell there with the offensive rebound. Put back. Edgem gets a rebound though. Barrett takes his time. Back iron. Powell knocks it out. Alexander Walker kicks it to Dort. He just missed one, but don't make that two. Francisco, tough, tough shot is good. Already got blocked once, kicks it out. Francisco, Francisco, ooh. Nice take, Gobert there. And again, you said, you know, some of these Canadians want to go in and prove that they deserve some more playing time, the bench players, but same with the French players. Francisco, well, it's going to be last possession for Canada, six seconds. Kick it to the corner, and another three-point shot is good by Kyle Alexander. And what a game here tonight in Jakarta, Indonesia, as Canada have made a statement beating France.